Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. It's Thursday. We're almost on Friday. Hi, Raul. How are you? Raul, can you hear me? I think he can hear me. Hi, Alexander. Hi, Irving. Hi, uh, teacher. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Hi, Alexander. I think you're on mute. The headphones. Yes, maybe the headphones are, are not connected or. Mm -hmm. Right. Hi, Raul. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi. And you? I'm good. good. Very good. That's nice. Hi, Sophia. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Monica. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. How are you? Very well. I be eating goom. Oh, <laughs> so that's <I'm> good. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. That's fine. Yeah. And how was your day? I'm very busy. I'm very uh, with the what are happening in the Salvador. I'm very frustrated about it. So. You can imagine that if you are in home, you are safe. So it's very complicated. Yeah, you can imagine for, I mean, if you go to the office, if you take the bus, even if you are um, driving a car, it's, it's yeah. dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. So no, I, I feel that I feel good right now because I am home, my husband at home and we are safe or say something. So. Now I think that is the reason that would happy be happy. Yep. Because at that moment, I can imagine how the family that happened this thing are living yeah. the moment right now. Yeah. Very sad, actually. Yeah, very sad. Yeah. Yes, totally agree. But it's good you're at home, so yeah. you have a reason to be happy. So great. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, we have now. Hi, Francisco. How are you? I think you're on mute. Hello. No. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, Noemi. How are you? You eating? Yes. <laughs> All right, that's fine. No worries. <laughs> no worries. No worries. That's fine. That's fine. And we have also Dagoberto, Walter. Good evening. Hi, Walter. Good evening. Hi, good evening. We also have Dolores. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. And we have also Dagoberto. Hi, Dagoberto. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, How are you? I'm here. I'm here now. 
You good? Uh, uh, I was, uh, I had a, a llamada telefónica. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I, 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 I had a phone, phone call. Uh, a phone call, oh, okay. Yeah, All right, that's fine, no worries. That's good. Hi, Alexander. Hi, do you hear me now? Yes, we can oh, hear you. Okay. Now. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you. it was something maybe with the connection when you get into the meeting. Maybe that's what happened. But now we can hear you. It's good. Okay. I'm ready now. Great. Excellent. Hi, Yolanda. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very good. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Great. That's good. How was your day? Was good? Uh, yes, it was good. Uh, in this moment, I finished uh, the last meeting. Wow. In this moment, I need to cut because uh, the class is uh, uh, beginning. Yeah, the class okay. is beginning. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, actually, okay. to take the time. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right, so so welcome everybody one more time. This is our sixth class uh, for the intermediate number one. Um, and this is our last class for this week. So very excited, uh, very happy to see you everybody here. And just wanna ask you a couple of questions. Uh, with the platform so far, how are you doing with the platform? Uh, were you able to do the examples? I'm sorry, the, the exercises? Besides from the midterms, yo sé que hay problemas con, con, el, con uno de los ejercicios del midterm. Eh, yo ya lo reporté. Eh, así que, pues, as soon as they provide me with any updates, eh, yo les aviso para que ustedes regresen al ejercicio y lo puedan hacer. Pero de ahí por los demás ejercicios, eh, how you doing? Everything's good? Questions so far? Oh. No, teacher. Okay. La parte que dice usted es de un listening. Mm -hmm. Practice. Exactly. Solo uno sale y los demás no salen. Yes. So, uh -huh. ya lo reporté con, con administración y me dijeron que ellos están trabajando en eso. Así que, as soon as they tell me everything's fixed, I'll let you know so you can go ahead and do it. All right. So let's make a little review from yesterday. Do you remember what was the topic from yesterday? Do you remember? How to use to and enough. Exactly. And what do we use them for? <laughs> to make what? Um, to, it means more than what is needed. Okay. And enough uh -huh. it means sufficient. Sufficient? Yeah. Okay. Sufficient. Yep. That's correct. Very good. And we use them to make evaluations, right? Either an evaluation for your house, an apartment, uh, either you can use it as well for make an evaluation of your car, make an evaluation of the country, of the city, of the neighborhood, of anything you can use uh, enough and to, and you can use it with uh, adjective and enough, and you can use it with um, enough and then a noun. So do you have any questions with that? Do you remember how to make them? Yes, no? Nope, no questions? Yes. No question. Okay, very good. So uh, let's uh, practice a little bit uh, in regards to your listening skills. And we're gonna do something like, a, it's not gonna be a dictation. It will be just like a spelling thing. This is just for weekend practice. Do you remember the alphabet, right? Yes, okay, cool. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I will spell a word 
two times. And you have to write a word. As soon as you get it, as soon as you write a word, then you say either I finished or you raise your hand in the in Zoom so I can know and you can tell me the word to see if it's correct. Okay. So let me make a test here. Let's try with uh, the first one. So are you ready? Yes. All right. So let's make the first one. Uh, C O U L D. C O U L D. What was the word? Say it. Could. 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 Excellent. Very good. Let's do another one. E X A M P L E. E X A M P L E. Example. Very good, great, that's correct. Example, that's nice. Next, O-N-E, O-N-E. One. One, yes, <laughs> great, good, that's good. Next, K-N-O-W, K-N-O-W. No. 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 Exactly, no. All right, Q-U-I-C-K-L-Y. Q-U-I-C-K-L-Y. Wiley. No. Who said it? Quickly. Yes, <laughs> quickly, quickly, yes. Excellent, that's good. Let's do another one. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. S C I E N C E. Science. Science. Great. Good. One more. W O M E N. W O M E N. Woman. Woman. Good. And let's make the last one. D H R O U G H. D H R O U G H. True. <laughs> True. True. Yes, that's correct. True. Very good. Great. Great. You got it. So you got good listening skills. That's good. Very great. All right. So let's go now to uh, our presentation. Let me uh, show you here. What are we going to study today? Uh, just give me one second. All right. Okay, let me know when you can see the screen. Yes. Okay, very good. So this is what we're going to see today. We're gonna still uh, talking about adjectives, um, and today we're gonna see comparative with adjectives and nouns. So previously we were saying, or we were talking about the, uh, the evaluations we do using enough and using two, but right now what we are going to do is we are going to use comparatives. So, with comparatives, exactly what we do is we compare. We compare two things. And I think that you have already seen comparatives, for example, using ER and then, like a tall, taller than, or small, a smaller than. Do you remember that those adjectives, like to make comparison between two things? Yes? Okay. So with this one, uh, this comparison, we are making two equal things. We are saying that two things are similar or are the same or have the same characteristics. And we have, we use comparison with adjectives in order to make a comparison about two objects or persons. We use as, as to make up the comparisons. 
and we have some examples here. And this is we're using with adjectives, and we're saying houses aren't as convenient as apartments. So we're saying as as it means tanto como. Oh. Exactly. So houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Las casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Next example we have is houses are as convenient as apartments. So now we're saying the two things are the same. So houses son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Okay. Can you think about one example using as and as? For anything, you don't have to be for just for apartments or houses. It could be for anything you would like to, to, to compare. Think about one example, just one example using as and as, and then I'm gonna ask you. Just one, one example using as and as. Teacher. Yes. Eh, puede ser apartment aren't as cost as houses. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Very good. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, always eh, the the la oración siempre will be in plural. The, the, the. Um, not necessarily. Because you can say a car is as a convenience or is as uh, cheap as a motorcycle. Or you can say a, the car or a car isn't as cheap as a motorcycle. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, so let's see, um, Yolanda, do you have your example? Uh, yes, uh, dogs, no, cats are not as loyal as dogs. Great, excellent, and it's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Fernando. Do you have an example, Fernando? Can you hear me, Fernando? I think he can hear me. Uh, let's see, Irving. Bikes aren't as expensive as cars. Very good, excellent. Alexander. Alexander, you there? Hola, hola. Yes. Um, uh, how can I say tennis, zapato, tennis shoes? Or, uh, sneakers. Uh, sneakers, okay. Uh, give me a sec. Sure. Uh, sneakers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, boots, boots uh, are botas. Yes. Is, isn't it? Boots? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Boots aren't as comfortable as sneakers. Good. Very good. Uh, mm, um, boots are as um, useful as sneakers. Great. Good job. That's correct, Alexander. Okay. Elvis. Yes, uh, a uh, motorcycle as are as more dangerous than drive a car. Okay, so ride motorcycles. Yeah. Is. It's dangerous as. Is uh, as. Is as a car. No, is as dangerous. As dangerous. As a, a car. As driving a car. Driving a car. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Okay. Crisia. I I don't have this yet. Okay. That's Let fine. Me. Sure. Me I'll get back with you. Monica. Can be I'm not as tall as my friend. Yes. I am not as tall as my friend. Yeah. As tall as my friend. Mm -hmm. Good. Dagoberto. Kurt isn't as fast as you. As? You. As you? You. You. It's okay. You. Uh, can can you can you say it again? Car yeah. is as fast as. Isn't is isn't as fast as you. As your. Your yes, car, I mean. Your car. Ah, your car. Ah, as yours. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. That's correct. Sophia. Hello. Pants are as comfortable as a skirt. Okay, what's the first word? Pants. Ah, pants. Ah, pants. Okay, pants. <laughs> are, are as, as comfortable uh -huh. as a skirt. As a skirt. Okay, very good. <laughs> Vanessa. Yes, sir. Hi, do you have an example? Hi. Yes, I have. Go ahead. Chair mm, isn't as comfortable as sofa. Okay. Can you say it again, the first word? Uh, chair mm -hmm. isn't as mm -hmm. comfortable. Uh -huh. As sofa. Good. It's correct? Yes, it's okay, correct. Okay, thank you. Very good. Karina. As food isn't as healthy as vegetarian food. Excellent. Good. Walter. Oh, the cell phones aren't as expensive as computers. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, Francisco. The computer are as convenient as the tablets. Okay, the computers are as convenient as tablets. As the tab as tablets. Good. Very good. Dolores. Dolores, you there? Yes. The cell phone is a practical as computer. Very good. Great. And Crisia, do you have your example now? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that every example that they say Yo la tenía. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Say it again. No worries. <laughs> uh, someone say the cell phone, the children, the city, and the car. And I. <laughs> no worries. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to say the children are in as. Uh, Polite than as adults. Okay, so children, children are aren't, aren't as uh, polite. Educada, but o malcriada. Yes, you can say children are as polite 
as oh. adults. Mm -hmm. Adults. Okay. Very good. That's fine. And Noemi, did you say your example already? Okay. Pupusas are as delicious as tamales. Good. But what kind of tamales? Uh, Corn? Biscuits. Gallina? No, biscuits. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, tamales, tamales biscuits. Willy. Tamales what? Willy. Willy. <laughs> <laughs> what are those tamales? I don't know tamales, Willy. Uh, in this place, uh -huh. um, uh, there is um, um, a man called Willy's that sells the tamales? Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. yes. Um, All right. Are they good? Hey, yes. Are they? Oh, okay. Please give us. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please send to us. Send you us some know, Yesenia. What taste <laughs> they have. Yeah. How much do they cost? Uh, one quarter. Uh, well, one quarter? Yeah. For one dollar. One dollar? <laughs> Wow, those are expensive tamales. <laughs> 25 cents. All right, 25 cents. If it's 25 cents, it's good. Yes. All right, great. So this is basically how we do the examples, uh, how we do the, the, the comparison. And we have here subject. Uh, this is the, like the structure that we use to make the, those sentences. Uh, subject, apartments, then the verb be, it could be is, are, or am, in negative or positive, then as, then the adjective, then as again, and finally a noun. And we have the example here, apartments aren't as expensive as houses, okay? And we have here uh, one example. Uh, let's do this exercise here. Uh, what you're going to do, it's simple. You're going to make a comparison between uh, the two things that are in the parentheses. So it will tell you if it's negative or if it's positive, as well as uh, the adjective that you will use. Okay. So let me give you uh, three minutes so you can go ahead and, and complete it. So remember, you have to use as and as. I'm gonna make you the first one. Uh, Peter isn't or is not as tall as Fred. Peter isn't as tall as Fred. And the same you have to do with the rest, okay? Remember, you're using as and as and the adjective in the middle, all right? So we're making comparison using as and as and the adjective. The first example is Peter isn't as tall as Fred. And also you can say Peter is as tall as friend. So they are the same height. Teacher. Yes. Did you tell me what is the meaning of cello? The cello. It's a musical instrument. Okay. Mm -hmm. El que se parece al violín, pero en grandote. Exactly. It's the big one. I think they call it like here, I don't know if that if it's the same, but I have heard they call it like chanchona or uh, violoncello. Uh, I don't know if it's. When I was shy, when I was shy, when I, was shy I play, play the violin. Oh, really? Yeah, and a little bit the cello. <laughs> Did you learn to play it? Yeah, I learned a little bit, but was difficult because I'm via turda, left. I am. Right? Uh, uh huh. Left-handed. Left-handed. So okay. it was very difficult to try to learn 
how to play the violin because you know is the it's normal play with the with the left right hand yeah it's it, it, it because of the position of the of the yeah and it's very difficult try to find a left violin yes a left a left-handed violin yeah it's like the guitar yeah it's it's very weird try yeah. to find yeah because it's like backwards, like everything is like al revés. It's different. It's it's a opposite. It's the opposite, exactly. Opposite, yeah. But that's good. Music is yeah. good. Yeah. But okay, need to. But you still, you still can learn. You just um, need to practice. No, I, I didn't continue. No, but you can start now. Yeah, I. I would like to start, <laughs> but now it's very, for me, it's very difficult to have time. Yeah, I know. To I learn know. something, or not learn, to start to, you know, improve my, I don't know how to say it. Your skills? My skill, my skill. Yep. No, I know it's, it's complicated and time, it's, it's very time consuming, but if you can make the time, that will be good. Yes. Great. All right. So let's do the, the examples here. Any volunteer for number two? Is there not, is there not as... Me, teacher. All right. Go, Maria. Uh, the violin isn't has violin. low... Uh, violin. Mm -hmm. Violin isn't has low has the sale. Okay, isn't as? Low as the sale. Low, you may like, like, uh, what, what do you mean with low? Like bajo? Oh. Yeah, uh, no. You wanna say like, if it's a small? Yeah. See, it's low. You want to say like pequeño? No, the sound is the tone. Oh, the tone. Is so, so wow. low, the cello. Okay. All right. Got it. All right. Then, yes, that's correct. So the violin isn't as low as the cello. The cello. Okay. okay. Very good. Good. Nice. Uh, volunteer for number three. Me. Go, Raul. Um, oh. This copy go is ahead. Go, go as ahead. bad as the other one. Okay, one more time. This copy is as bad as the other one. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. Next, Alexander. Oliver is has Optimistic as Peter. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Someone for number uh, five. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. It's a number five, right? Mm -hmm. Today, it's it's not uh, windy as yesterday. One more time. Today, it's not um, windy as yesterday. You're missing one thing. Ah, today it's, today it's an, isn't um, as windy as yesterday. Excellent, yes, that's correct, <laughs> yeah. Very good. Great. One more volunteer for number six. Uh, Noemi. The tomato soup was as delicious as the mushroom soup. Great. Very good. Irving, number seven. Grapefruit juice is, isn't as sweet as lemonade. Great. One volunteer for number seven. Uh, Yes, we got here volunteers. Raise your hand. 
Yolanda. Number eight. Nick is as brave as Kevin. Good. Volunteer for number nine. I got, let's see, eight to Monica. Um, silver is not as heavy as gold. Very good. And last one, number 10. <laughs> Noemi? The blue car is as fast as the red car. Very good. Excellent. Great job. So very good. That's basically how we do uh, the the two, uh, the comparison between as and as to compare two things. We can say they are on the same level or one, it's above the other one, all right? Any questions so far with this? We're using adjectives here. So any question with this? No, teacher. Okay. Very good, so let's check the other one now. Just one second. Okay, so now what we're going to use is the same thing. We're gonna be uh, making comparisons using as and as, but the only difference here is that we're gonna use nouns. And one thing that we're gonna be using is we use it for the same purpose. We're gonna uh, make comparison of the things, uh, houses, apartments, cars, um, restaurants, uh, jobs, whatever. But instead of putting an adjective in the middle, we're gonna add now a noun. So we have the examples here, for example, apartment have as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. So what we're doing is we are adding here in the middle a noun. And we have here the structure that we're going to use. And we use subject. Then we use the verb, the verb be, either a verb be or any verb. And then we use as. And this is what we're going to change. We're gonna put either as many, and if we use as many, we're gonna use a countable now. And if we use as much, we're gonna use a non-countable now. Then as, and then a noun. And we have the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. So can you think about one example? Let's make a comparison. Let's see, let me think about it. Uh, let's make comparisons about cars. So think about cars. Can you make one example using cars, comparing cars? Let's say uh, a pickup and, um, and a sedan car. What will be, how can you make a comparison with those? Pick up and what is the other one? A sedan, like a normal car. Pick up have as many benefits as them. As a sedan, okay. Very good. One more. Pickups have as many tires as sedan. Very good. Cars. Yep. That's correct. Very good. The pickup has a more horse than cars as sedan. Okay, so pickup have you say hor horses? Hor hor horses. Yeah. Horses? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So pickups have as much as as many. As, as, 
as ma, uh, many. Ajá. Uh -huh. As many? As, as, as many clan. No, as, as many horses? Horses as, as sedan. Sedan, exactly. Very good. Um, now let's see, let's make comparison between, uh, well, let's make comparison between houses. Let's see a house in the, in the, in the city and a house in the, in the countryside. A house in the city and a house in the countryside. Can you make a comparison with those? Teacher. Yes. I have a question, the structure. Yes. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, no understand mm -hmm. the as mas many count 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 now much mas no count. Esa estructura no la entiendo. Okay. Por ejemplo, si es plural, va a ir many o va a ir much. It's going to go many. If it's plural, that will mean that it's a contable. No, because you can say, for example, uh, uh, the city is, let's say it like this, a city isn't as polluted or as much polluted as the country. La ciudad uh -huh. o, o es tan contaminada o no es tan contaminada como el campo. So what you're going to have to do is, for example, if you're going to use a non-account noun, si vamos a usar un nombre contable, entonces uh -huh. vamos a usar many. Uh -huh. Y si utilizamos un uh -huh. nombre no contable, entonces vamos a utilizar uh -huh. as much. Ah, uh -huh. ah, que está unida, ¿verdad? Yes. So uh -huh. it could be either or. Okay. Va a depender del noun que utilice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, yo write uh, uh, TV, smart, have, has much, function, has TV all. Okay, one more time. Smart TVs. Uh, have, has much, function, has, uh, TV all. Okay, so functions. Function, is it uh, countable or uncountable now? Uh, no countable. Functions? Can you yes. make it plural? Uh, yes, yes. So, so it's countable. Countable, uh -huh. many. Exactly. So you can say a smart TVs have as much, uh, I'm sorry, as many functions as TV all. As all TVs. All TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Very good. Another example. Uh, your house in the city mm -hmm. has much space as your house in the country house. In the country, in the country house? No. Yes, the country house. Yep. Okay. All right. That right. your country house, no. So you're saying that in the country house there are there is much okay. space. No, I think is uh, your house in the city has much space as your your house in the in the country house, no? Oh, no, uh, in, in no, no, no. In the country, uh huh. In the in country. country. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. Excellent. So this is basically how we use for the for the as and as comparison using the noun between the two of them. Uh, do you have questions so far on how to use them? As and as questions so far? Or everything is clear? All is clear. All clear? Oh, no doubt, teacher. Very good. Great. 
Okay, so let's do um, now make sentences using comparison of an apartment or houses using as and as with a noun. Just the one like that we just saw. Let's do one of those. Let's make, let's not make five, let's just make three. Okay. So let's make just three. And then we're going to check them out. Remember that you have to use the uh, as much or as many, depending if you're using a countable or uncountable now. Let's make just three of them. Remember, we're using nouns right now with as and as. <laughs> Okay, so let's see the ones you have right now. Uh, let's see here, Vanessa, can you tell me one of your examples? Yes, teacher, but I don't know if it's correct. No worries, say it. Um, apartments have mm -hmm. as many space as houses. Okay, a space is a space. A, a space or a spaces? A space. Okay. I did the same example. Okay. <laughs> Houses <laughs> have as much space as apartments. Okay. Exactly. But it's room. It's same. So a space, is it uh, accountable or uncountable now? Uncountable. Yes, it's an uncountable now. So you can say it, uh, our houses have as much space or doesn't have as much space as apartments or vice versa. So, but that's good. Okay, thank you, teacher. Sure. Next, uh, Karina. I had the same, just that I put an apartment has and as many space as a house. Okay, that's good. That's good. Excellent, Judith. Um, okay, teacher, um, houses, are as much expensive as apartment. Very good. Excellent. Monica. Thank you. No teacher, I'm very lost with this. <laughs> okay. Because I 
I'm, I put apartment cost as much as house. Mm, let's make it like this, like the, the example that Judith gave that was apartment, uh, for example, are as, R. as much uh -huh. expensive. Yeah, as houses. As houses. Mm -hmm. So remember, you have to put something inside in between as and as. In this case, we're using nouns. So for example, you can say um, a apartments doesn't have as many rooms as houses. But that is a for uncountable, right? That's for uncountable. Okay. Uncountable is much and countable many, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. okay I'm very confused with that. No, don't worry. No worries. Okay. <laughs> okay. Think about the example and I'm going to come back with you. Okay. Sophia. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Houses are as much privacy as apartments. One more time. Houses. Houses are as much privacy as apartments. As as much private. Private. Mm -hmm. As apartments. Uh -huh. Yes. Houses are as many rooms as apartments. Okay, houses has or houses have? Are, apartment, uh, as houses are as many as apartments. Okay, say one more time. <laughs> houses are as many rooms as apartments. Okay, houses have. Have. Uh, houses have uh, as um, houses have as many rooms as apartments. As many have um, mm -hmm. because it's countable. Because it's countable. Rooms are countable. So rooms. Mm -hmm. Y si yo digo country house has have has much crime have as much crime as city houses. Yep, that's correct. That is correct. También. Yep, it's correct. Pero el crimen no es contable. No, but you say as much. Ah, pero sí. Ajá. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Se puede entonces con have y con ar y con El verbo to be. Yep. With, uh, with any, with anyone. Yep. That's correct. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Monica. Um, apartments are as, are as much beautiful as house. Um, yes, but that's from the previous examples. <laughs> Remember that you have to put Tiene que poner un nombre en medio entre as and as. For example, if we say, eh, eh, let's say, apartments eh, don't have as many rooms. Rooms es el nombre ahí. Mm -hmm. En vez de utilizar un adjetivo, utilizamos un, un nombre. Entonces, okay. As many rooms as houses. Okay, uh, apartment doesn't doesn't have uh, many space or much as much space as much as much space as a house good okay. that's correct okay yes that's correct good I, got it. I, got it. I have a question for yes. example um could be in a negative way right mm -hmm. uh, for example um apartments are not as comfortable as houses. Yes, the only thing that that's from the previous examples. That's with adjectives in the middle. It's correct because that's correct. It, it, it's good. But right now we're using nouns in the middle. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. I saw here, uh, Yolanda. I have a question. Yes. It is possible to say my house smells as much as many apples as your apartment. Your house smells uh -huh. smells as many apples as your apartment. Um, o sea, huele a manzanas cuando entras a tu casa. I don't think. Let me let me figure it out because it's. I don't see the sentence. Houses? I mean, you're, you're my, my house. house smells, smells as many as apples. Many apples, uh huh. As your house. As your apartment, uh huh. As your apartment. O sea, huele, o sea, no sé si se puede oler. Huele a cuando muchas. Cuando uno entra al ambiente de la manzanas. casa. Manzanas. Ajá. 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 O a, o a madera. Much wood. Mm. I don't know. Hypothetic verb. I I think that it might be like uh, my house have and let's say like have and smell as mm. many no. Tiene un olor entonces. Yeah, but let, let me figure it out. This but no huele. Oh, okay. Have the smell. Of many apples? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I see complicated that sentence. <laughs> yes, because uh -huh, when you, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, in, 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 in the house? No. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. In my house, I smell a pet, but <laughs> in a hypothetic Idea. Your house uh -huh. have uh, as fragrance as my house, for example. How do you say fragancia? Fragrance, yes. Uh -huh. could, I think that's like making a little bit of more sense. So you could say like uh, your house have as you much have fragrance as, much fragrance as, as my house. Yes, I think that that will be, and we can say like uh, my house has as much apple fragrance as your house. That's your house. Mm -hmm. That it will be like, mi casa tiene mucha fragancia manzana como la tuya. Uh, pero uh, sure. I am not sure because it, you can say, eh, eh, o sea, eh, it's not have, the, la casa no tiene, o sea, no tiene algo, sino because que usted smells. entra y huele. Ajá, o sea, tengo duda. Ajá. Oh, bueno. Let's make it with a smell. Let's try with a smell. Uh, my house is smell. Teacher, uh, yes. I think that she means as well as as well as uh, the house is smell as well as apples. Okay. Yeah, that will be, but that wouldn't be a comparison. It would be just saying that it yes. smells like. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah, but that's correct. It could be a smell as well as. Apples, huele como a manzana. Yeah, that that's complicated, <laughs> I am a woman teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yes, I I think that um yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look for that sentence because it's 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 weird. That's it's complicated. Homework, yeah, that's my homework. <laughs> But that's good. But I just want a, a question before we, we, we finish. So are we clear on how we use the these sentences or this comparison? I mean, do you have the idea how to make them? Uh, what are we using them for? Tiene la idea como de para qué las usamos and everything? Yes? All right. Very good. So now, do you have questions so far on regards to this? This topic. Teacher. Yes. Tell me, can I say apartment don't have as many walls at houses? That's correct. It's That's correct. correct. Yep, it is correct. Okay. Very good, Francisco. Good. So yes, basically that's uh that's how we use it just to make comparison between two things. 
Um, I know that sometimes we, and, I, and that's sometimes the complicated thing about uh, languages that we, we think of a, of a sentence or a phrase that we mostly use in Spanish, but then it gets complicated to make it into, into English. Mm -hmm. but, but that's the thing. Uh, the purpose is that you know how to use it, that you have the idea and that's good and that you can complete your exercises in the platform. So it's nine o'clock. Uh, do you have questions so far? Do you have any comments, any, I don't know, anything you want to say right now? It's Thursday. So any questions? No? Okay, very good. So uh, remember, this is our last class for this week. Uh, we're going to see on Monday. Uh, so please make sure that tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, practice your English. Uh, you can, something that you can do uh, if you have time and if you like movies or if you like, for example, sitcoms, uh, you can watch them, but try to watch them in English and put a subtitles in English. So in that way, you can listen to the word and then read the word in the, in the screen. So it's going to get it attached in your brain. That's a very good exercise that you can use. And well, you can enjoy one of your favorite movies and your practice in English. So it's a win-win. Uh, one of your uh, video, uh, no, the video you gave us mm -hmm. or you share uh, with us, mm -hmm. uh, it was very sad, teacher. I know. <laughs> one of them, <laughs> yes. And I think we need to, to see and to uh, talk about the videos. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, that's good. That will be good. If you can see the videos in the in the WhatsApp group that I sent you, that will be a good topic of conversation for Monday. So if you can watch them in your free time uh, this this weekend, uh, please watch them. They are short, short videos. I also send you a song if you like Elvis Presley. So that's a great song, really good song. You can listen to it as well. And we can talk about that on Monday. So. Okay. Thank you very much to be here one more time. Noemi? Only I need to say, uh, take care and stay at home uh, because uh, the news are bad in El Salvador. And please take care and stay at home. Yes, that's correct. Uh, enjoy your house, uh, be safe and always be communicated. Always communicate <laughs> if you go out. So thank you very much. Have a nice weekend, enjoy it. And we are going to see everybody on Monday. All right? Teacher, yes. uh, maybe it's a good exercise to talk about the, uh, okay, uh, about the news maybe. Yep. Or yes, because if we uh, read uh, during the day, it's possible to, to share uh, yeah. different opinions. Yeah, that will be good because that we're going to be speaking and, well, we're going to be practicing. That's the okay. best. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Have a good Bye. night and see you in Monday. Take care, everybody. See you. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. You. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Take care. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye-bye.